Welcome back to Sip and Tell the Films, aka The Crib. And I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to talk about, well, seems like every day we talk about wide receiver play here lately. Uh, well, today is Rashad Bateman's day. Rashad, you have the floor. Stop what you're doing. Like the video. Like the video, share, subscribe, and also let's we have to set a like goal for the first time in a long time. Let's let's try to get this video to 200 likes, 200. Let's try to get this video to 200 likes onto the film. So one last thing for the film star, I got to send a shout out to D Raven, Travis the Truth, and Vince. They did super thanks, which means they they contributed to the channel while off stream so they watched the video whatever time they watched it did the super thanks button i appreciate you guys i don't want to leave anybody out but rashad bateman so this is the inspiration behind this video i was trying to figure out you know what content i want to do next and then this came across my my timeline um adam newman says rashad bateman is on the cover of espn.com right now he had he added go for football and the question was, can the Ravens win now with the current wide receiver corps? Well, Bateman, clap back. He said, we can and we will. Y'all talk too much. Yeah, Adam, y'all do. Now, what I did was I went to the Cleveland game, which was his best game. And for Bateman to step into that wide receiver one role, this Cleveland game needs to be the norm for him. It's, he went over 100 yards, didn't score a touchdown, should have. But this needs to be the norm for him to step into that wide receiver one role and put everybody in the flock's anxiety at risk to say we have enough at the receiver position. I think he can step into the role and will flourish. Um, I hope he doesn't put too much pressure on him. But let's get to the Cleveland game, saw what he did good, and hopefully he can continue and be consistent in that going forward. All right, so you see him spot shadow at the bottom of your screen. This is not Denzel Ward. So I really want to make sure I, I, I focus on the reps that got Denzel Ward, but this is not Denzel Ward. Just a little hitch route. Nothing, nothing crazy about the route, but what happens after the catch is what I love. A little hitch. So really he has it at the 41, makes that guy miss. That's another 10, 17, 18 yards of yak or run after the catch. Yak or rack, whichever term you choose to use. Makes him miss. Makes him, kind of turns him around. But the only thing that catches him is this guy right here. Because he got, th this dude's running this way. Like, I don't know why. He just happened to get caught from the back. Now hit the bottom. Now we're in the red zone. Uh, this may be Ward. Let's, I think so. Another hitch. That is Ward. Just reliable hands. Nothing extravagant. Off coverage. Run the hitch. Not the greatest of throws from Huntley. Go down and get it. And see right here. I don't know if you can see it or not. But it's first down. So with that simple play. Now it's second and five. Which is, you know, that's basically a run play. Basically a run play. Now he's at the top. I think that's what I'm at the top. Now we're at the 44. Got a little press coverage. Outside release. Don't get a lot of separation. But the reason I put this on here, look at the body control. If this was an accurate back shoulder throw. Throw him by. Sit down. And had this been an accurate back shoulder throw where he can get to it, he's going to catch Really good body control because he's running at full speed. Full speed. See the ball. Shut it down. Just not accurate throw. Not accurate throw. But he got the body control. I think they called OPI on that, which was bogus. So he did catch it. They just called OPI. My bad. I'm wrong. He did catch it. They called OPI on that. Still great body control despite what they say. Got Ward again. Press coverage. Nothing 
there's no what I don't like is he just ran he just ran out here. He didn't try to turn him inside and do anything, then get out there. He just just outside released and ran. Now, if Ward like gets in phase and pushes him to the sideline, that makes this throw a hell of a lot hell of a lot harder for the quarterback. See, he just runs. Don't really do a move, just trying to outrun it. Only throws him a fade ball. Tracks the ball, go get it. Tracks it better than Ward, who Cleveland is saying that, you know, would shut him down. And, you know, that's this guy right here, they saying would shut him down. Goes and gets it. He pisses down his leg. Looks like a touchdown to me. Needs glasses. They're like a touchdown to me. All day, every day. But they call him down at the one. All right, here he is again. Now, let's see if it's Ward. No, it's not Ward. It's 26. I think Ward had enough at this point. At least for now, he needed a break. Something simple. Now, you, I put this on here because you saw the deep ball. That's a part of the game that we love and that we feel like we need. You saw the little hit traps on the outside. Now, if you move him in the slot or, or condense him, and you can work the middle of them too. So now he has he has the full spectrum of wide receiver. He can go get you the deep ball. You can throw a little short routes to him. Then you work him over the middle too. The only thing that we, we're not going to see in this video is something in this intermediate area over the middle. But then he gets that. And again, that little route, keep in mind, look what down it is. It's first and 10. So you'll take this three-yard throw and him die for another two to get five or six. Now you're looking at second and four. We'll take that all day, every day. Because we second and four, second and three, you love that. Now I think Ward's back up there, I think. Nope, I think it's Ward down here at the bottom. So I don't know who this is. Now he works the release. Now he tries to work the release. Bop, bop. Get on his heels. And just turn around. Still didn't, still didn't give him a turn inside, though. Still didn't give him a turn inside. But he not, didn't allow him to put his hands on him either. Tracking the ball. And again, what I, do, what I would love for him to do is get, beat this man and then get back on his team. And then get a quarterback all this room up here to throw the ball. But he doesn't. He just keep getting pushed, keep getting pushed. And this is one of Huntley's better throws of the season. See, look, he ain't got a lot of room to throw it. And Hunt, look, Huntley's getting hit already. So this is a great throw by Huntley. Tracking it. Tracking it. Tracking it. Look at that window. That's 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 not a lot of room for Huntley to put the ball in there. But he did. Full extension. Catch. And gets both feet in. Full extension. I don't know why that's still on screen. Get off screen, drawing. There we go. Boom. Great tracking of the ball. Now, I don't know why. I don't know if Ward got hurt or they just decided to put Ward somewhere else. I'm not sure why he wasn't on Bateman the rest of this game. But when he got off, Bateman got off. Except for that 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 one that should have been a touchdown. That that, that was on Ward. Now, can he consistently do this? Week in, week out. That's the question we all want to know. Can Rashad Bateman consistently put up 100 yards, score a touchdown or two, and be the threat we need to um, to be like a – not him. Honestly, I'm saying the number one receiver, and we all know he's still not going to be the number one receiver. Mark's the number one receiver, even though Mark's the tight end. Bateman just will be the number one wide receiver. But Mark's the number one guy. Bateman will be number two. And we need a bunch of guys to fill number three. We need about four or five guys to fill in to be that number three role. And we'll be ready to roll. But I think Bateman can, can come in and and help alleviate the passing game with, with his skill set. He's tall enough to go up and get deep balls and 50-50 balls. He has the route running ability to run an intermediate short routes. And he has the hands to, to catch the little timing stuff. So with, with that being said, I think he's the perfect guy to fill the role. It's just on him now. He has all the opportunity. He's going to get a ton of targets. And it's either shit or get off the pot right now, Rashad. And I hope you handle your business. So, um, 
With that being said, I'm out, man. Enjoy the rest of your night. Go watch some basketball. And remember, like the video, and we're trying to get to 200 likes. 200. 200. And everybody that do super thanks off this video, I appreciate you. See y'all tomorrow. Peace. Well, see y'all Friday. Peace. With the, 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 with